Hey everybody, this is Applicable Dave. Today we're going to do another unboxing. This time it's going to be for the Canon EF 75 to 300 millimeter lens with an f-stop of 4 to 5.6. And let's just adjust. There we go. And it says EF 75 to 300 millimeter. Same thing there on that side. And same thing. Pretty simplistic box, I would say. I think that's it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. See what we got here. All right, I am excited. So we greeted with styrofoam. Flip that to the side, and let's look at the warranty information. Canada. Here is the instruction paperwork. So this illustrates how to install the lens to your camera. Not going to bore you with that. Pretty simplistic. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. We got the lens itself. We just there we go. Nothing in there. All right, guys. Well, this is the lens. Let me go ahead and take it out of the wrapper. Uh, so here it is, guys. The Canon EF seventy-five to three hundred millimeter lens. Now here's the uh, autofocus and manual focus switch right here. And here are the pr different presets of the zoom. Of course, starting at 75 all the way up to 300. I think it's worth taking note also that there is a uh, recommended limit of 1.5 meters as far as taking close-up shots. And there's the Canon logo. Canon Incorporated. And of course, 58 millimeters. Now this particular item has a slow lens in comparison to other lenses, seeing as that the f-stop is only 4 to 5.6. Now this leaves a variable in considering the amount of zoom that it takes coming from 75 all the way up to 300 zoom. So depending on how far you're zoomed in or zoomed out uh, will determine your aperture level. If, you, if you're zoomed all the way out, you'll be able to get a full 4 aperture level. If you're finding yourself uh, unfamiliar with what aperture is, it's, aperture is basically the level or the amount of light that goes into your lens. So the less light you have coming into your lens, uh, the more prevalent your motion blurs will be when you take photos and stills. So when you're taking shots at 300 millimeters, you'll heighten the chance of having motion blur on your subject you're trying to shoot. Now this can easily be remedied simply by having number one a tripod and having your camera still as you take the photo and taking shots on well lit areas. That's why this lens is perfect for outdoors, uh, landscaping and scenery photos. You can also help by uh, boosting up the ISO on your camera. Most people shy away from this because it takes away from the quality of the photo. But considering that it will help with the motion blur on your subject, I think it's a fair trade. Remember, the slower your shutter speed, the more movement you'll get in your subject. So let's go ahead and put that cap back on. We don't want to get it dirty or dusty. So this lens is made out of plastic. I believe the uh, original ones or the older models uh, had a metal casing. The filter size is 58 millimeters and the width is 3 inches in diameter and the length is less than 5 inches and it's under 17 ounces. Very lightweight. It's inexpensive yet the quality is still not compromised. Now here's a quick comparison of the lens on the right compared to the 18 to 55 millimeter lens on the left. Well that's it guys for the unboxing of the Canon EF. 75 to 300 millimeter lens with an f-stop of 4 to 5.6. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below and leave your comments. And if anything, make sure you subscribe. All right, I'll catch you at the next video. Bye-bye.